Hey, what's going on, everybody, man? It's Rock D. Lee, man. I'm not even going to... I shouldn't even wear my glasses to do a video because I look like this dude. Anyways, we're going to talk about Tokyo Avengers. Quick take, man. But before we get into Kasaki, because that's way too easy to spend time on, man. What we're going to do is first start this off with my boy uh, 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 Takamichi, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to Takamichi hater for all season one as a meme. I bought a, yeah, like I was saying, as a meme, I got the Takamichi figure, man. <laughs> and uh, so don't, if you see Takamichi around, they'll be like, oh, he switched up. He just, I've been had Takamichi. I had Takamichi since season two. Anyways, um, oh, what was the meme about? The meme was about, like, since y'all kept gassing him up, I was like, I mean, when, when people are whining in the comment section, I'm sorry, I shouldn't really admit this to you, but I'm telling you the truth. When people are whining in the comment section, I had Takamichi right in front of me as a reminder, these are the Takamichis, and I have to remember them and be mindful of their feelings. But fast forward, I'm being completely honest with you, I like the dude, reluctantly, because he keeps delivering, he keeps developing, and there's a certain point where you can't hold someone to their past, you know what I'm saying? If someone is moving forward and growing and becoming more thug and in their own right, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta move on. So it's like, yeah, he was crying like a little whatever. Yo, men cry. It is what it is, and people are dying. So whatever. Um, we're still gonna get to Kasaki, but let's talk about why Takamichi is actually a great character. Okay, a lot of people are gonna complain that they would rather have Takamichi fight. All he does is take hits or whatever. We got fighters in the show. We got people that can really throw hands. We have people that can teleport uh, as of this season. So from a writing point of view, obviously you got to sometimes suspend real life because, you know, real life gangsters is what a real life person would be. Let's talk about narrative story writing, okay? Um, from a writing point of view, it would actually diminish the scene that we're seeing right now if Takamichi was a fighter. Because if this was Mikey, at this range, and you try to put him a gun to his head, he's going to disable, especially Kasaki, of all people, putting a gun to Mikey's head. Mikey would just dismantle the thing, hypothetically, in my opinion. It's, it's plausible. A trained fighter can do that to someone who's untrained and has a weapon. Anyways, so the fact that all Takamichi has is his resolve, his willingness as a person who cannot fight, improves, and just like, all I have is resolve, baby. I'll die for this. And that's all he has. It just means so much more because uh, true bravery is, uh, and, ah, damn it, I missed the quote, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, to be really brave, you have to be able to face something that you're scared of. Have the resolve to look death right in his face with no answer, with no comeback. He's looking in the barrel of this gun. He's like, you know what? For some reason, I am a bitch. That's what he said. The, uh, if you guys don't know about this, the animation changed some of the translation to make things more acceptable to you guys. But what Takamichi really said... <laughs> what Takamichi really said is, yeah, I'm not a bitch. So if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And Kisaki looking at him like, you ain't a bitch? Yo, this dude ain't a bitch. And then the real fighter showed up to finish the rest of this fight. So fantastic writing. Writing. I like it, man. I was heartbroken over Kasaki. Now we're going to talk about it, man. This dude, this dude is the most embarrassing villain antagonist I have ever encountered, man. And as a Vegeta fan, I am used to L's, bruh. I take L's all the time as a Vegeta fan. I know I've heard good things about Vegeta now. A lot of spoilers out there. But, yeah, I was riding my boy Renji Abarai. Freaking Vegeta. Starscream, you remember my homie Starscream? Um, there's a little mix of characters, but it's between catching L's or being cowardly and, and, and getting away. This dude, Kasaki, tried to be tough and he just folded. It's the biggest fold I've seen. And as a Floridian who goes to beaches and seeing all these goddamn folding chairs, that means a lot. And it makes sense, kind of. Like, from a writing point of view, it absolutely makes sense. But to a, from a character point of view, it does not make sense. And it does make sense. He really thought, I'm just going to put a gun to him. And he's going to bow down. You know what I mean? I'm really going to shoot him in the, in the, in the, in the foot. And he's going to bow down. And he wouldn't. He didn't. 
And everybody around Kasaki called them out. It's like, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo! This is, a, this is some kid shit. We're just doing this to be badass. Like, yo, you're, you're taking it way too serious. You know when you're telling jokes and you're just roasting your friends? Or were you just doing a roast? And it's the one guy that takes things too serious and starts swinging at people? And there's actually a certain point where if the person starts swinging at people in the fight, or, not, or if the roast is happening, you guys know what I'm talking about, and somebody can't handle the jokes and starts fighting, even if they win, they look like the bitch. Actually, I support my boy Will, but this is actually another person that we could use in the example. Jokes is happening. You at you at the comedy or whatever. You at you at the ceremony. Your girl got a little roasted. She can't handle it because she got that personality. So you go out there and you hit the jokester. No one respects you. As much as I'm a Will Smith fan and I'm not going to drag his name, it did not help his image. That's a fact, right? And um, he's a role model or was a role model. I still look up to him. So I can say this about Will and still ride for any one of Will Smith's movies. I'm going I'm to be out there because it, it, it is what it is. Like I said about Takamichi, hopefully you learn from this moment and you move forward. Unfortunately, he wouldn't like this video, but I have to use him as the example. No, but no one respects you for hitting uh, 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 Chris, Chris, Chris Rock. Hypothetically, if that was Dwayne The Rock Johnson who talked some shit about your wife, and you went up there and knocked Dwayne Rock, The Rock Johnson clean in the chin, people might look at you and go, oh, you can't take a joke, but at least it's The Rock. You went to go fight The Rock. You gonna put a gun to Takamichi? You, you, you can't put him out with your hands? Come on, man. Everybody uses using the goddamn hands, but we do have some weapon users over there. Um, that's another story, but most people are using their hands and and you're gonna you're gonna shoot Takamichi the whole crowd turned on him I personally believe it or not. It's not that it was morally or ethically the right thing to do I was like yo pull it you pull, you got the gun now I, I would never had want him to actually like do it But once he pulled the gun out he had no choice Anyways, man, that's the end of my rant. That's the end of my discussion You know, it ain't, it ain't no deep dive, but I had a lot to say I had a lot to say this disappointing ass guy. Look at this bitch ass face, bro. This bitch ass face. I really thought it was a gangster at one point. Oh my God. This is the face of a hero. This is the face of a thug, bro. Even, even Takamichi beaten up, broken up, right? Still don't look like a bitch as much as Kasaki. Oh man, I can't even go back properly, man. Look at look at him about to about to cry and no one touched his face. Kasaki looking like he about to cry. Look at these bitch ass eyes, bro. Bitch ass eyes. You can you can see there's no resolve there. This questioning his motives. He don't know what's good. My boy Takamichi ain't never his resolve never broke, man. Look at that. Even cr Takamichi cries more thugging. Then Kasaki stands there. I don't even know that was possible. The, the, look at that face. I don't see bitch. I see hope. Relief. Yeah. Yo. What is happening? There's so much, but not bitch. Kasaki, man. Any face expression I land on. That's bitch. He's sweating. Yo, it's not even that hot outside. He's sweating. Why is he sweating like this? I'm going to tell you. Bitch, I gotta rearrange this video. If if you see that the editing is funky, it's because I made the rearrange. Some of this Kasaki part needed to be up front before I went into the other part. I remember one of my homies, I won't call him out. We were at a part like this there's a lot of real life stuff to this, even though it's just a show. Like that's why that's why when so when I talk about the disappointment of the scene, is because you can see how this plays out in the real life setting. So back to the roasting, back to the roasting. One of my boys, his, his, there was some roasting going on. And he was like, yo, you say that one more time, I'm going to snuff you in the face. And the kid said it one more time, and my boy snuffed him. We all friends. So he snuffed this, he snuffed someone close to him. Was it acceptable? Absolutely freaking lutely not. But once he said the threat, he had to deliver. Otherwise, your reputation, your name, no one's going no to respect you. So guess what? Even though he looked like a Respectfully, he looked like a punk that day because he wasn't able to handle it. He got he emotionally snapped. We'll, I'll make fun of him to this day. He's like, yo, you snapped, bro. No one tried him again on those terms. So now you have to take that L, but no one tried him again because he's still on business. 
That's the thing. When you when you say you're going to stand on business and you don't, you look bad. I got one more. I, I can keep doing this. Um, One of these presidents, I won't say the name, Obrizi, <laughs> he was like, he was talking to Russia, man. He was like, yo, if you, one more time, bruh, if you cross that line, this is what we're going to do. They cross the line, yo, Obama didn't do a damn thing, bro. He didn't do a damn thing. And he got roasted for it. He said, you said if you cross the line, you was going to do something. Absolutely got roasted. This is, this is, whether you agree with it is a different story. You can look it up. Last story, the homie Trump, whether you like him or not, he was like, yo, if you do this, yo, it's going to be crazy. And they did something crazy. And what he do, yo, mother of all bombs, look it up. I don't necessarily condone these things, but you have to exercise your gangster. And from what I saw, and people make a lot of jokes about it. Ain't no invasion when Trump was in office. Oh, I got controversial. Was he in the pockets? I don't know. I don't know. It got controversial with, with that. I don't care about any of these people. I just look at objectively how I saw it play out, right? Uh, yo, you got to stand on business when you say something so people know that you're serious. And even as I say that, the opposition, they can't be like backing out just because they heard the United States is popping off their mouth because now they look like punks. It's all, it's all a power play, man. If you say something, you got to deliver on it. That's why it's oftentimes better to shut your mouth up and if you can't stand on business, don't bother. Kasaki's reputation would have been saved if he had just stayed on the up top top, just never came down. You would have still like been cowardly, but you was cowardly in brand. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy Starscream, he's like, yo, cowards live to fight another day, but he's gonna show up and sneak you. You know, gun the hell out of you. And then when things get serious, he leaves. And he has bars to back it up, but don't ever forget it. You try to talk shit to his face and he catches you slacking, he gonna sneak you. His character broke. Everything that he stood for, gone, in my opinion. Like, yeah, he just took some girl out, gone. I have more respect for, yo, know, characters who disappointed me. I got more respect for the homie Kettle than I do Kasaki as of that episode from uh, uh, Vinland Saga. We're reaching the end, so I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to talk about Vinland Saga. But, uh... You see, I, I I used to, you know, be all right with Kettle. Then he beat the hell out of Einhard, and uh, I was not okay with that. I absolutely was not okay with that. I was like, he was a good master. Ah, see, if I like a character, this is what happens to me. <laughs> Vegeta fan. Anyways, uh, yo, Vegeta turned that, that Majin uh, around and murked everybody. God dang. Even, I got to talk about the Brawly. I got so much to say. I'm going to circle up to Brawly talk, too. Man, I can just keep talking about some experiences. But, um. The reason why this is even worse than Kettle is, yo, Kettle stood on business, man. Yo, he gave that girl, <laughs> he gave that, I can't say girl because my my lines are jokes. It doesn't fit. I, I am so not okay with what Kettle did. I can't even make jokes in good conscience. So I'm going to refer as person and property because the, the more I humanize Arnhide, which she is an absolute human, the more sick to my stomach I'll get repeating this. But he stood on business and he's like, this is my property. And my property don't go nowhere else. My property don't betray me. My property does exactly what my property wants. Then he found out that his property trying to go with some other dude. He's like, yo, fuck that. And laid it in. Completely went emotional. We could say all that. I said all that. Completely shitty ass character. But he stood on business. When people wanted to ride up against him, even though he was a fraud, he was like, hey, let's go. To the last man. To the last man. Until his forces uh, you know, fell apart and ultimately it didn't work out the way it did. Till the last man, he stood on business, man. Like I said, I still roast him. I don't like him. It's only, director has a saying, who is in the room? If Kasagi and uh, Kittel are in the same room, I'm like, yo, get this dude Kasaki out of here. Uh, Kettle, you a bitch, but whatever. That, that's how that's how slave owners operated. Then you, you, you stayed exactly within the fraud, slave owning, whatever but as a viking warrior still an absolute bitch he has no no redeeming qualities as a viking warrior now we're gonna talk about my boy vegeta because the worst vegeta moment is uh in the movie when he didn't want to fight broly and i was like damn bro but he but he said it. he's like yo that's a legendary super saiyan bro they've been talking yo they you kakarot is a fraud he's walking around like he's a legendary super saiyan mm, mm -mm. it's always been broly you don't want the smoke goku is getting waxed piccolo is getting waxed and Saiyans have like this order class system. So he's like, it's already hopeless. And it wasn't even affecting Vegeta's pride. Cause like, you don't know who that is in order of things. That's the dude. My father had to send him away. You don't want the smoke, man. You don't want the smoke. 
And then eventually, at least Vegeta's watching this shit, and he got his resolve. He got his resolve. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long. But that's what I say. No, his resolve lasted long. He didn't last long. That performance, he got that 30-second timing. It is what it is. Plot armor, it's not his show. <laughs> that's why I say it's hard. That's why I say it's hard being a Vegeta fan.